What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing a topic and it is going to be about classic MM2, also known as MM1. And I'm going to be talking about how you could get all the classics. Uh, don't you know the vintages? Like Golden, Blood, Blazer, those vintages. I'm going to be showing you how you could have gotten each one in 2014 number 4. And just a little bit of gameplay in MM1 just so you can see what it was. In 2014 and before, because I know most of my viewers have not played in then. If one, if even one of my viewers have played back then, I would be surprised. So let's get into MM1. This is going to be a little bit short, but let's get started. So, first, the first knife you could have bought was the Splitter Godly Knife. It is very cheap for five bucks only, or 800 XP, which explains why the Splitter is very low valued. It's the lowest valued classic besides the Cowboy. And I'll show you that. So it's five bucks, and you could have got these bucks through Robux, or I think murderer kills, or just like experience over the game. And it does nothing. There's no special perk. It just makes your knife look cooler. But the ghost is the twentieth, the smallest knife in Murder Mystery 2, and also in MM1. So what it does is it lets you throw your knives easier, and the knives fly faster. So basically, the perk that you could have, basically the perk that came with it, is kind of like slight. I would say. Okay guys, so the next godly is going to be the Prince. You could have gotten the Prince for 40 bucks or 2,000 XP, so it's basically in the middle of the night. And you get a 15 second kill cooldown or something like that. It's decent, I personally want to move by. The next night is quite expensive and it is the Shadow for 125 bucks or 3,000 XP. And look at this. It's Attacking Great Stealth. So basically, this is the ninja perk of MM1. This is basically the ninja perk of MM1. So, a lot of the noobs nowadays have the ninja perks, perk because they want to go unnoticed. Because if they were killing with their android selves, they would be noticed easily. So, it was, back, it was expensive back then, so it wasn't easy to get for the noobs that could have used, just used ninja all the time. The most expensive knife classic knife in MM1 is going to be the blood. It gives you better, like, better something with the kills for whenever you really kill someone. It does not set. Alright. So, those are all the knives, and let's get straight to the guns. So we're going to do this, the guns quite quickly. The cowboy is expensive, as expensive as the splitter. It just makes your gun cooler. Same with the laser, but it changes the gun sound. It's 15 or 1,200 1, XP. Phaser changes the gun sound too. It's 20 bucks or 1,000 XP. And then the golden just makes your revolver golden. This is only for the epic rich people. Obviously, Nicholas had a quite uh, epic sense of humor with that one. Only for the epic rich people. Only the epic rich people can buy it. So if you're a doge, you basically can buy this at all times. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching this MM1 review on all the classic knives and guns. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be doing more videos in the future. Bye, guys.